Increasing yields, let's do this. Everybody loves bigger yields, Scotty. You know what I'm saying? Wow, man, you're getting right into the action. I like that. You're a little, you're a little intense, man. You're a little intense. Wow, man. Yeah. All right. And without much other announcement, Banner is here. Oh, they're taking the move. Now what's up? You gotta monitor those comments. I do, man. This Scotty shave your nose hairs has to be interrupted. <laughs> We're digging it, guys, here in studio, live in studio today, down in the bakery. Yeah. I get up. Mm. So we're going to talk on the joint today. We're going to do a little grow talk. We are going to talk about increasing yields. Grand per watt. I want to get into grand per watt a little bit. You know, it used to be the big deal, man. That was the holy grail. If you do that with HPSs. Yep. Yeah. What a gram per watt. So that's, dude, you can help me with this. You'd be in from Canada on the <laughs> metric system uh, for we're at roughly 450 grams in a uh, pound so that's 900 uh if you're getting two pounds per light that used to be the measurement right two pounds per oh, a watt light we'll get into it and it is funny how being a cannabis grower helps you understand grams like you know the other friends are like well how, how do you know that so well and you're like oh dude you're just breaking out numbers yeah. of grams yeah well, there's 112 grams and a quarter about well, <laughs> i mean probably <laughs> uh we're gonna talk about what cannabis is winning scotty says what's up it's not 112 grams and a quarter pound. It's 112 and change. So you've been getting ripped off for that Cooper okay. for the last 15 <laughs> years. All right. Oh, uh, man. I'm sorry. What was the question? Cannabis is winning, you say. Oh, gee. Did you see, uh, shout out to, uh, I think it was Podponic Steve put something up that uh, there's a, it was actually in Oklahoma where he hangs, where he used to hang out for with the Thailand, but it was uh, a federal judge rule that uh, you're allowed to own guns and smoke cannabis and be either a medical user or a recreational user, that those two things should be mutually exclusive. Can I talk about guns and cannabis live? Or, or, you most certainly can. I think, you know what? You're going to watch it. You, we stand to nothing, Lebowski. <laughs> yeah, anyway, but uh, it was just interesting because that's a big deal. That was one of the ones where you th thought, figured that would be the last to fall. And you've got, uh, what do we see recently? It's it's no longer legal to just pull somebody over and say, it smells like weed, we're going to search you. Um, shit, there was another couple where I was just saying, aside from banking, we're winning, man. So there was it's actually a, something I saw on Facebook and we need to laugh at too, man. Uh, I'll take it. Before we hop into it, you know, as I do, this episode brought to you by Real Growers as Oz, as Aussie. As always... Um, man, I'm gonna force Scotty live to hook it up, dude. I want to hook up some DGC producers with some recharge. Yeah, right? Banner, we've been working at this a while. Dude, we got our two ounce recharges. I love nice. Yeah, I mean, supply doesn't change, or I should say, price doesn't change. Demand. There's always a demand for. There's a lot of demand for recharge, but at thirty something or fifty something dollars, that limits the people that can go and buy it. So we've got a ten dollar two ounce package of recharge and. uh Banner, we worked at this a long time. I see all of us. It's amazing how hard it is to just come up with a different size of the same damn product you have. All right. But uh, yeah, it's in Amazon, right? It is. Oh, uh, yeah. Congratulations, brother. That was a big deal for us. Realgrowers.com and CanadaDudesWorld.ca. Um, and don't forget dudegrows.com forward slash pros <laughs> for all your shopping needs for your grow. I'm looking at the wall over here. I'm so not used to being in the bakery. It's like, oh, my okay, camera's over here. I yeah, got it. Man, just just hang out with me, man. You know, I don't. I, I uh, would rather make good eye contact with you guys, man. Look at the visual cues. It's all, all about the visual cues. I've been watching more. I'm always worried about running such a tight show, and I have been watching more lives and the ones that are loose and chill. I appreciate, man. When the guy goes, yeah, I'm getting up. I'll we'll go to the bathroom, man. You guys talk amongst yourselves. It's more like hanging out with people. It's fun. I don't know if we're doing bathroom breaks, though. I don't know if I'm down with that. Like, keep your shit together. You okay. see me crawling behind you. <laughs> you want to play drink with you? <laughs> there we go. Yes. I'm going to mic up the bathroom, and but won't get creepy with cams. Nah. Um, so I think I was going to say, this episode brought to you by uh, the pros list. Guys, check out the pros list if you're shopping for your grow. Dugros.com forward slash pros. And DGC producers, man. Don't forget, we are hooking up shit every month. This month is a two by two AC Infinity tent. With an HLG Patriot 150 watt light, ready to go. Two extremely quality products. Bring the dank, um, and you can run that shit anywhere. Who doesn't have a two by two space, man? Somewhere in your house, your apartment. I don't know. Maybe if you have one of those Jap Japanese. Uh, He's got an American. Uh, what do you got? A Tahoe, right, man? That thing. You could fit a couple. Two, you could fit a four by four in this. Right? <laughs> yeah, just get a truck. <laughs> That's my growing truck right there. 
Um, I had a quick funny story actually. Yes. Uh, and just comment on that giveaway, guys. If you're a producer, be logged into Patreon, comment on the giveaway you're entered to win at the end of the month. Carbon filters. So I had the DGC to reach out and ask about um they were messing with me over on Patreon. And uh, he was like, dude, I smoke, I smoke chronic. Like I smoke out my room. Sure. And I really want to be able to enjoy it, but I what what's a good option? And I was like, well, I think the only option really is a carbon filter. Yep. Yeah. And he was like paranoid as far as not paranoid, but like, man, it's a chill room though. I can't have like, you know, it used to be a carbon filter that was run at full blast. Sure. It's like, no, hook up the AC infinity with the fan speed. Does not accept the controls already dialed in. Those things yeah. are so quiet. So, you know, people are listeners of the show. My mother-in-law comes up this last time she comes up to visit and like an hour before she got there, I was like, fuck, I better do this now. I had a pipe soaking in ISO alcohol and I turned the kitchen sink on as hot as it can go. So steam's coming off. Hang on, we're giving you both that look. It's your house, man. You're like what? You're at least forty, okay? <laughs> and you're telling me you can't clean a pipe with your mother-in-law coming? I got my mother-in-law hooked on edibles. I don't know. It's easier. She, I, it like left apparently a little bit of smell and all this shit. So what I did is I called like the mother-in-law smell test. I, I had this carbon filter going in my my studio north where right. I toke and hang, but I hadn't toked it for a little bit. And I go, hey Jane, come in here. Had her come into the office, close the door, and, and the carbon filter had been running for like an hour or two. Sure. And I hadn't smoked. I'm like, do you smell any weed in here? And she just goes, yes. Of course. It's, God, it's setting her up. So <laughs> to, to do the unset up, I, said, I was like, F this. And then. Ah, I tricked the you. There's no weed in here. here. I, mean, <laughs> I just let her start. No, I just started talking and not telling anybody. And like, she, she hasn't said shit at all. And it's working. It's like, I think it's embedded in, in the head. But she knows who runs the house, man. Yeah. Hashtag my house. Sometimes man. you got to pick. Okay. It's not. You just make it sound. No, I feel you, though. It's, it's, it's like you don't want to have. I got to deal with that yeah. shit, man. I, I, feel I be choosing those battles. I mean, the so, guy. That's a battle I be choosing. What, to be able to smoke in my house when my mother-in-law comes over? You remind me of the, my buddy Dave I'm out on bike with. He basically says, yeah, are you crazy? that you're that This is your house. You can tell her to F off. Yeah. Like, no. No, 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 you I, don't tell. <laughs> you can't tell your in-laws yeah, you don't do as me. much as you want to you, you know just kind of do it and be like yeah uh to, before we hop right in that to end that those filters are badass those fans are real quiet ac infinity um coupon code dude grows over there will hook you up yes. yeah bro talk man you push through the filter or pull through it man where does um, it matter pull I, yeah, I don't know always scrub, quote, scrub it. Yep, but I pull through because it gets to the pre-filter. That way you can do either, man. It's nice. The fan speed control has like probably at least eight different speeds. So when yeah. I'm not doing anything, I have it down like on two. Can't even hear it. Then when I'm going to have a sesh and he like turn it up to eight for maybe just 10 minutes, you can literally see the smoke I blow up and then go through the carbon and takes care of it freaking quick. So I don't know why it took me this long to get it. Me, you know what the deal with that carbon is? Oh, wait. Instead of answering my own question, no, Scott, what's the deal with what? surface area? It's got the most amazing amount of surface area in there. So when the air goes through there, it's got like yards and yards, like a football field where the surface area of carbon to go through. Because it's just so porous and it's kind of trippy. That's how so, it captures the, the smell part. Have you ever seen them unpack one? Have you ever seen where they take one out and they expand? It, it's so much carbon that's in there. You just it, like the idea of you repacking it. Yeah. They have like all these proprietary ways, like the can filters and everything. Sure. Yeah, dude. It's so much carbon they put in there. The surface have, area is insane. I think I've seen a video of machine doing it. Yeah. It's like a huge vibration yeah. like plate yeah. thing, which yeah. just has keep coming down. So, yeah. Because I don't know, people back in the day would be like, oh, can I get, I can order new carbon. And it's expensive, man. And carbon filter. I remember having like a Rocky Mountain filter. And I remember being like, how much is it? I'll take it. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it does that? It keeps me out of jail. Yeah. That's how I love it. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. So we hit the Grow Talk featured question here, guys. Dudegrows.com. Or wait, in the chat, man. Banner's checking out the chat. I don't know if Johnny Hash, shout out if you're, you're hanging out in the chat. Be checking out, but if you guys have something we can try and throw into the show or whatever, see what what we can do. Oh, is yeah. this the uh, the delay screen over there? Oh, yeah, keep looking, man. It'll help. All right, right. So only I'm like to take you five, five seconds you. later is always very uh, disconcerting. Okay, tell us your best carbon filter story. <laughs> oh man, best carbon filter story. I got the one where I dressed it up in a coat and brought it into my grow house. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> like a drunk guy, you know what I mean? Because they're so didn't have a heavy man. man. Uh, I just threw just that coat. I was like, "How the fuck do I get those twelve steps to the to the house, man?" We till nighttime, number one. Yes, yes, but I dragged it like it was a drunk guy, you know. 
Like like Weekend at Bernie's. It was like Weekend at Bernie's. That was the inspiration <laughs> for it. I did it exactly like I saw on Weekend at Bernie's, man. Oh, that's excellent. I told you the one about the, uh, the before carbon filters, you were screwed. So I had this little, pssst, it was like one of those, you see them in the bathrooms. And uh, every 10 minutes or so, it sh- sprays a little osium out there. Osium was what you had. Uh, and yeah, I always tell this story, but I had it going like every 10, 15 minutes, it would spray. Yeah. And my mom came to visit my house, which I was just quietly growing in. Nobody knew. Yeah. I knew. And uh, yeah, she was just quietly sitting there. She's probably smelling the weed and it just goes, psst. <laughs> a wisp of ozium. How about your Scott, box? You really use a lot of air fresheners. Yeah, awkward. <laughs> my mom's not dumb. Everybody's worst carbon filter store is the same. They got caught. <laughs> like prohibition like <laughs> It's like, yeah, I got caught. Huh. What kind of oh. maintenance you got on those things, actually, to make sure you got to replace them every now and again? Smell. Whatever right. last I could yeah. Go outside and sniff around with a fresh adjusted nose that just came out of some coffee or something. That'd be awesome, dude. I should bring you should bring your mother in law over to the grocery She's for hire. Like the litmus test, you know? Yes, she's for hire. For five hundred bucks, uh, dude will bring his mother in law over, man. I like it. She has the magic sniffer. Uh no, I don't like I I feel bad. Like I don't want my nose that sensitive. I mean, sense I just got a decent nose, but right. I mean I don't want it though. The irony is, if she's really sensitive, she probably can really like taste all the flavors and weed and tell you about. Yeah, she'd be a good uh, <laughs> connoisseur. Yeah, the point I like how I knew she was there this time, and I remember talking shit. To each throwing his our kitchen window was cracked open, and then my stove fan was on four, just whipping in air from outside. I'm like, what did it do? It was just <sighs> normal smelling in here to me. She's just messing with you. At this I point. think so. You know. Let's head to Grow Talk, guys. Do grows.com. Get your grower questions up. Anybody can hit them up over there. Use that search bar. Uh, this one caught my eye because it's called Increasing Yield, which sounded sexy. You know, everybody like wants that. to increase yield. This is by Chili Farms. And a lot of the DGC chimed in on this. Um, so it says, so I got a, a grow. I got a grow in a two by three by five tent using a hundred watt LED. Thinking of upgrading, in parentheses. I'm growing normally in coast of maine normally we don't grow abnormally all right <laughs> don't grow abnormally. maybe organically i don't know coast of maine stone eating mix which is a pretty enriched mix um with added neem meal i'm currently using roots organics dry amendment line with recharge sounds like complete nutrition there the dry uh, amendment. yeah we'll talk about it Absolutely. and uh i'm also using some pruning and training techniques i try to veg as long as i think i can and i'm only yielding 1.5 ounces a plant I don't know how many plants he has in there, but if he's only getting 1.5 ounces out of that 100 watt, like that's- So let's say it's going to be three ounces, it'd be six ounces, even if he got four plants in there. I mean, so he wants to get a gram per watt is what I like to see at least, but a lot of people are getting more than that. Even if we go, a gram a a watt is a lot. (laughs) That's uh, 100 grams. I'm just saying, it's a hell of a benchmark, man. So that's what, uh, 100 grams out of 100 watt, that's not that much. No, it's not that much. No, if you have uh, some of my buddies getting uh, 600 watt uh, R specs, uh, at least two pounds per light. So what's that? 454 grams per pound, right? So we're up at 800, 908. It was a thousand watt light, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. he's, well, no, it's a 600 watt light. Oh, a 600 watt light. Okay. I know that's at the higher end. Saying two pounds yeah. per 600 watt, you're getting up there. I don't think asking a gram per watt is, is much at all. You should be achieving that. The things at play, obviously. I agree. Um, it's good, though. It's a good benchmark environment genetics are huge He's- yeah hang on let's we don't want to skirt you know skirt over those real quick first yeah. off genetics i mean you can buy and, and banner pop on in man because you're the guy that runs the most genetics out of all of us i mean there's huge variations no are you from Steve yeah for sure clone more uh both but he sees everything man. probably more clones but- well the lowest one of the lowest yielders what is one of the lowest yeah, just for that i would bother it. keeping <laughs> I know, just meaning like haze it's hard is. up, man. It's okay. It's, uh, it just doesn't yield, but it's just but it's anywhere. fucking flavor, yeah. Are. Yeah, and it is what it is. Like it, that's the price that you pay for that one. Sure, they other don't like that. Others throw it out. It's just the way it is. Yeah, that Pura Vita isn't. I mean, it's okay, but it's not my biggest yielder. But I love the buzz, so I keep it. It makes nice nuts. Yeah. They all have different styles, too. I feel like uh, depending on how you grow it makes a big difference. Who's ever bought Big Butt before? You see it in the seed catalog, and it's about money, and you're like, oh, Big Bud, and they come, it's not so good. And- no, no. Well, like, if you scrog or not, too. Like, not all plants like to be scrog, yeah, for example. Yeah, that's true. So, true. some people who are growing for weight, uh, they're going to 
choose something that they can scrog and light up, you know, fill mm-hmm. the whole room. But um, some plants don't like that. Okay, so we got uh, a genetics, real big deal. And plants, some people are recommending in the comments, um, and I got to give just a little credit. Shout out to Maestro, Dr. Feel Good. You guys yeah. are really helping people out here. New Leaf. What's up, Chad Westport? Magic toast hanging. Die hat. Mr. Green Jeans, Cosgen X, Sunny and Bactopia. Wow. See, this is what it, we dude. want. And this is exactly so, what we're after is growers helping other growers. Chad Westport, man. I'll feature uh, Mr. Jazz Cabbage in a minute, but I was going to talk about also, I'm going to do four plants in this tent. It's a two by three, and I like four or three gallons. Some people are saying do sevens, four, three gallons in this tent. You want more than one plant, and then you don't need to veg that Depends long. how often you want to water, though. He's only got a five-foot height in this. What's up? How tall is that plant that's in a three-gallon? When you're done? Well, well, like, yeah, like in bloom. Like, where is it going to stop? And are stretch? we always, which growers don't ask enough, are we including the height of the container, or are we including stock to uh, canopy? I got to do height of container because you got to need, that's when the, the growth yeah. plant starts. So that's yeah. everything. So yeah. then I'd say you have, well, the containers vary. These containers are maybe not even a foot. A foot. Say a foot. And then the plant is going to get, uh, I'm going to say about up three feet. He's got a five foot tall yeah. tent. You don't want it to get bigger. A bush yeah. like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be a smaller like bush. Yeah. yeah. But you can do that with scrogging or with uh, staking. You can definitely, and don't forget, if you're in a small uh, tent like that, you might want to put six plants in there and not, you know, just almost instantly flower them up. You basically flower up your clone, especially if it's something uh, that's going to give you a one giant central cola. Yeah. And yeah. you harvest six or seven. Six, three gals, I think, would fit in there with that you just said good pruning, though. Yeah. If, if you let them get bushy and shit, it ain't going to work out. Let me feature Mr. Jazz Cabbage. Yes. Jazz Cabbage. Jazz Hands. All right. No, Jazz Cabbage. You know what that is, man. That was what they called weed back in the day. Uh, so jazz Cabbage. As someone who's harvested multiple runs under 100 waters, I can say 100% strain dependent. Ah. I've got some strains of phenos that have thrown down some hard chunky buds yielding two ounces after one week veg from seed. See that one week veg. You don't need a huge veg. You don't have a, he doesn't have a big ceiling anyway. Uh. Um, share, okay. And it said one week veg from seed shared with another plant under the same light um, to some strain phenos in the exact same environment, same conditions and growing media that have nugs that just ain't that big. So he says, I've harvested my two by four. He's in a two by four by six with two HLG 100s, which this cat uh, needs. He should buy one more 100 watt light. Um, two HLG 100 R's, which is important because the yeah. gas in that R spec, I think it's 730 Correct, or yeah. 770 nanometer mm-hmm. for bloom. Um, three plants, veg two months and seven gals. Shit got out of hand. Probably not ideal. Um, but he said well, he harvested well above one gram per watt. And check this out just for you, Scotty. Candle. As my CO2 source. Yes, dude inspired me. Um, it works well and it's cheap. All right. So although I'm not going to ever advocate using an unattended open flame in your grow. Uh, it's in a mason jar too. You're good. I do know. I'm not telling you. I guess I am telling you not. To. I wouldn't do it myself, but that's a great point. CO2. I was just going over my head, man. The plants are made out of carbon. The macronutrient is carbon. So by increasing the carbon, by double or tripling tripling it, man, you can definitely get a faster growing and chunkier plants, man. So CO2 is a big deal environment, a big deal in general. Mr. Jazz Cabbage disagrees with our plant count. He's saying he would do, in his scenario, with one 100-watt light, one plant veg for one month and a five-gal. But I don't know. what's. I mean, if you're waiting, if you're vegging with less plants or less time with more plants, it's kind of like a, it evens out. You know what I mean? Man, yeah, I'm trying to think. Somebody was talking about uh, just vegging for a week. Just very good. Man, New Leaf has got some good. There's a lot of new people oh, on well, I forgot. I need an aggressive plant to to veg for a week and then get oh, like a decent amount of butt off it. I definitely have plants that True. You, you would be embarrassed. Like, it just would not be worth, but, you're worth your time. They just don't grow that fast. Let's clarify veg for a week. So veg for a week. Means you're on your 18 hours of light cycle. You need, and then after that week, you switch to 12 12. Doesn't mean your plant immediately stops and starts putting on buds, right? We're still going to have another two and a half or three weeks of edge. Yeah, the I mean, plant how, switches itself over to trying to push flowers. How many nodes are you getting uh, for a week of edge? Nodes, eh? Yeah, I mean, it really does depend if they're screaming. What's the fastest plant you've ever seen grow? I feel like I've never seen a plant grow more than a couple inches in a week. Uh, yeah, I think I have, but it took a off. small, like from seed, like a small plant. Um, 
I don't know. We need a time lapse camera in one of our grows, damn it. This is like the dude grow show, so we should sound, have that. Sounds fast to me. But anyways. I was thinking about doing that actually. I'm setting up my AC Infinity tent right now and I'm taking my real buckets home soon. I was thinking about doing like where they do like the Eagle Cam right. kind of thing. Fuck it, man. Just stream my plans 24 7. They'll be dark half the time. But Grambo yet, man. Oh, Grambo. Everyone knows I'm here. <laughs> it's a uh, brother. Yeah. Night work, man. Yeah. Night work. Everyone's just stoked the fucking dude is here, bro. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, dude. Welcome to the happy here, man. A little bit different dynamic, yo. Know? Yeah. Yes. Good times for sure. Uh, I didn't want to leave out uh, Jet's pack, the senior dog, in the comments okay. as well. And thank you, Chili Farms, for inspiring the Grow Talk conversation. And all the DGC helping out, man. That's badass. But what do you got, man? We say first thing you got to do is pick the right strain. Second thing you got to do is dial in your environment and uh, CO2, micronutrient, or actually the macronutrient. Also, look at your other nutrients, man. You want to feed these things heavy. If you're going to get them to grow aggressively, there's a huge difference. I can only tell you through uh, salt-based, huge difference between 7, 800 ppm and 12, 1300 ppm. You know, as yeah. far as growth rate and sucking up nutrients. You said monitor your environment. So I'm going to give it up to Pulse real quick because if your mu- minimum tools for your grow is a hygrometer, right? That's going to tell you your temperature and humidity. Mm-hmm. And it's going to remember a maximum and minimum set point. Those are like 20 bucks for a nice digital one or whatever. Okay. After that, I always advocate get a CO2 monitor. You say get a controller because the price isn't that, like, even if you're not running CO2, it's nice to know what's going on. I look at my monitor all the time. The pulses tell me what my CO2 level is, even though I do have a monitor, so you can know. And it's nice to see. You can totally tell when uh, we're all home. The dogs are going yes. from upstairs and downstairs. My mother-in-law is upstairs doing laundry by the grow tent. Man, my CO2 is up at 800 with no enrichment. They're contributing uh, to global warming, you know. <laughs> and pulsegrow.com, their pro will monitor CO2. And more than that, it's like straight up insurance for your grow, guys. Like Power goes out. Your lighting cycles off. Lights on or off the right time can save you from herbs. Uh, so check out pulsegrow.com. Coupon code dude. OG DDC supporters, guys. They always give it up to the producers. We always get hookups. Sure. We met them. Uh, that was a store, like, I think it was at the Indo Expo way back in the day. They came out to our little DGC smoke and hang spot. And that's how we've met a few of our OG sponsors. It's a great way to do it. Hell yeah. Over some nice weed token. And I am surprised at having the CO2 monitor, how much of the air goes up. We're in a six by 12. Me and Kenny will go in there. Nice guy, Kenny. Hang out, bullshit. Just. 10, 15 minutes. The thing's up to 18, 1900 PPM from like 11. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, man. I was thinking about it and it making me uh, wonder in uh, if it was safe. And you know, we have a really small two person sauna. You're mm-hmm. like, shit, you close up the bottom of it when you're in there because you don't want cold air coming in. But the uh, traditional design or the bottom door has a gap. And I thought at first, it's like, you guys gap this too much. Like, no, you want. A little bit of the airflow at the bottom, right? Because you just can't yeah. be sitting in two people in a little tiny box. Or two. I don't know what the poisonous level is, but um, I think the uh, OSHA has a level listed for workers. Yeah, what is it? It's the CO, isn't that the carbon monoxide? That's the one you got to worry about. CO2, you'll be fine. You'll get a headache or whatever. Be all right. We got a dang nugs contest. You got a joint sitting there, man. Like, are we going to smoke some weed? We are going to smoke some. What is it, though? I can't get too loose for the live. I'm oh, sorry, man. It's Cherry Below. What the fuck do you think? I have no tolerance. I have no tolerance. Bad shit here, man. My endocannabinoid system is not familiar. Yeah, well, now entering second half of show. It's going to get weird, man. Fuck yeah. All What's right. the altitude change, dude? How how high up are you at NBC? Is this a fucking uh, crazy to come back? Probably like 100. 500 feet. Yeah, maybe. so it's got to be crazy. We're back yeah. up at 5,500 up here. Not right? bad. You can always bounce back and forth between a mile high. It's when you go from like sea level to like ski resort level. You have to yeah. be careful. Hit the Akamai's a little bit. Fuck yeah. We'll Akamai's here with some with some nice weed. I want some weed at Dank of America on the way down. Well, on the way down from at the first stop always. Yeah. I just love that name. Dank of America. Is it? Man, there's all these different things going on with the cannabis industry, though. Is it? I guess you would never know. Is it baked cannabis? Is it uh, oh. some local mom and pop? That actual dispensary, it's pretty yeah. chill. It seems pretty local. It's Washington. So, I mean, yeah, there's a glutton of weed. Prices aren't the greatest, but they've been there for a while. They're hanging in there. Quick, there's a glut. First off, a glutton and a glut are different, right? I said a glutton, I think. Yeah. That's man, a lot. That's first. I'm the glutton for weed, man. But um, if there's a ton of weed, why aren't prices super, super cheap? 
I mean, they're the cheapest they've been, right? Oh, okay. I thought you said it was expensive over there. No, no, it wasn't too bad at all. It's just the silly fact that it's the first dispensary you actually can come to, I think, easily once you cross over the border uh, from British Columbia. So that's a good position to be in because I don't bring weed over the border, even though it's legal on either side. Still have to have some discussions with the Border Patrol about that, maybe on the way back up. Yeah, right. It's CBD, man. I shouldn't ask them, dude. We're going to talk about it coming up. I mean, let's hit it real quick. Sure. Because the CBD, so yeah, when uh, Flow Gardens or when you order, I think, uh, like Hand Over Hemp, send out a piece of paperwork with it that says, this is our license number. This is, it was reddish. This bud is straight CBD per this farm bill. Like, it's all this right. fine print. And it always made me wonder if you presented that. You're like, look, I just want to let you guys know. I have a bag of weed. Here's the document, if you will. How they would have re- like receive that? They'd be like, ah, f you. But I think it might confuse some of them and not know what to do. I think in 2023, the move is they would just take it and be like, "We'll be right back," and then they would just <laughs> never come back. I always like to. Pl- <laughs> I always love perusing the flower on the Flow Gardens thing. It is amazing how fucking good it look. It looks like the killest. Any of this could be on Dank Nugs. That's what I mean, man. It's really throwing a loop in the things. The fact that that is federally legal, and then there's a bunch of ones that will get you high that are illegal in a lot of states. It's very, I tell you what, I'd love to get into it. Let's do a little uh, Dank Nug contest. Let's do this. Yes, we'll do a little business first. You got man. Dank Nug. Am I ready? Should I, should I present Dank Nug number one, Grambo? Yes, Space sir. Diesel yes, by sir. Clean Jacks. Guys, we start a new Dank Nug contest every Monday. Dank Nugs are picked from DudeGrows.com in the Dank Nugs section. Anybody can get them up there. We pick three, throw them on IG, and you just go on over there to like which one you're voting for. And we're hooking up seeds all the time. What do we got? You found a pack, didn't you? Uh, did I find a pack? No, I didn't. I think actually, we have yeah. some uh, Nancy Marie Punch from Easy Day Cultivators, I believe. Uh, <laughs> See, Scotty's the... I'm always nervous when there's packs in the bakery. Yeah. like, they just wander around a little bit. But it's okay. Oh, you're working on CBA. Yay. Yeah, 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 we got... Uh, I've been popping all this seed. Actually, this is Mooney, Mooney Lot Fire Auto. I got to make sure this isn't one of the ones that you're specially supposed to grow, that you have a nice letter with. But Yes, and it says fire. Easy grow. day cultivars. We're hooking that up, guys. These are feminized auto flower seeds. I'm growing my first ones, so unless you're the winner and you hate autos, that's what you get. We got more seeds stashed. Um, Guess I'm soaking right now. All right. I see a little tail. I'm getting radical, man. Let's see. I am embarrassed to tell you guys that I went to... Um, Check on, I put these seeds uh, in about, I think it was Friday night. And then I came back and I looked and I was like, dude, the paper towel, there's there's nothing in here. I literally soaked the paper towel, labeled them all, and forgot to put the seeds in there. <laughs> Shut up, Grandpa. <laughs> I think that's so I can also. Uh, I'm just glad uh, I'm not the only. I always say it's like the idea of like like holding the pen and like, you know, holding the grenade and throwing right. the pen sort of thing. So uh, it's just like, where it's not that bad. Well, it's, it's <laughs> man. But um, yeah, I was spelling a dummy. So now the radical root is just popping out. And that is, some people ask how I pop seeds just for a little bit. Uh, you can see there's just a little bit of recharge on the paper towel, just the tiniest, teeniest bit. And then I just saw so this paper towel should be nice and wet. And yeah, I haven't even just did, I didn't even label them, man. I just put the uh, package on there. You, you got Canuck seeds? Yeah, man. I got some Bruce Banner Auto Fem. These are all Auto Fem. So, guys, okay, so uh, Cheese Auto Fem, Bruce Banner Auto Fem. How to, how to plant that for you. And then GMO Autos. I have no connection to Bruce <laughs> well, it says banner anyway. I've got hate mail, man. No affiliation. Yeah, it's true, man. That's <laughs> true. I'm accused of things that are ridiculous. Okay. Space Diesel, Scotty. Here you go. Space Diesel. Dang nug number one. Yes, Space sir. Diesel by Clean Genetics. It's posted by Northern Can of Fire. Northern Can of Fire. Looking dank. This is my favorite keeper cut of Space Diesel flowered for nine weeks total. She was hunted. Yeah. From a pack of regular seeds. Can you hunt? I thought the hunt meant multiple packs. They call me the hunter, baby. All right. Um, I don't know. There's yeah. no rules. As long as you're having fun growing. She's growing organically with Gaia Green Organic. Ooh, this might be dating. Yeah. DDC have to take care of if they go for the win. Um, and it says Northern Canifier. I'm putting the bet on that. Recharge, Mygobriel Mass. Definitely a Canadian DDC. And Fish Shit. Because Mygobriel <laughs> Mass, I think, is a product that's specific to up there. Nice. Uh, I love nice. I like that fish shit, man. He always used to say he, I thought I always thought you could taste the fish, you know, that super brings the dank. It's just so super sick. dank. Yeah, man. And I would always ask people, I'm like, what is that? I'm like, yeah, I use you know fish emulsions. Is fish shit the same thing as 
It's not the same thing as fish emulsion. No, it's different. That's ground up fish. Yeah. Man. Um, and so shit. It's like slurry. Emulsified. Yeah. Ugh. Fish slurry. That is so good. And it, by the way, it tastes like, or it smells like that, right? When you it's open like the bottle. Mayonnaise. That Alaska fish stuff. Oh, blah, 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 blah. fish mayo. <laughs> so King Kush Breath V2 by In-House Genetics. And this is uh this is posted by No Nose, No Nose Hippie Man. And listen to this girl style, stick with me because it's my synganic type of way. So this girl was grown in Costa Maine Stonington blend. Nice. Which has its own enriched. I don't it's not supposed to be watered only, but it's got some good shit in there. Uh Gaia Green 444, which is their all-purpose NPK 444, and a 284, which you can see is their bloom guys, because the phosphorus is doubled. If you didn't notice that, then nitrogen's lowered by two. Yep. Quick on that math. The MPK math. With it's real simple numbers. Is, but isn't it great that it should, it's coming out there where it's not that complex? You know, there's plenty of really simple uh, formulas that are going around and ways of growing great quality weed that's going around. I'm psyched for it. Yeah, 100%. Um, gonna go on I here. forgot you weren't in the TV for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to respond. <laughs> I know, it is weird. Um, growing in seven-gallon Rain Science grow bags. Check out Rain Science, guys. Light-used HLG Scorpion r spec ran Roots Organics. Uh, grow terp tea. I haven't heard of grow terp tea. No, but I love the idea that they they're leaning on all sorts of microbes. So yeah, recharge next once yeah. a week for the first six weeks. Sounds yeah. right. Top dress with the two eight four before flipping the flower. Ran just water and recharge for the first three weeks, and then introduce. This is interesting. Then he goes the other way. Introduce liquid cool bloom from GH for th- weeks three. Uh, Three through six. And there goes all your microbes, by the way. I don't think so. Liquid really? Cool Bloom, the zero fifty thirty. But it depends, it depends on how you use it, right? If, now, you know what? I'm wrong. The liquid cool drop bloom, of it. The liquid cool bloom is, is a bit differently. Yeah. It's a bit different. Yeah, you're right. I so regret passing you that joint, Brett. <laughs> also, uh, I think it's out now. Yeah, of course. It is. I'm just holding it to look cool. It's a prop now. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you can get that going. I'm good for a minute. Oh, I'm going to just let that set in. It's hard to think without it. <laughs> also running Ruby uh, Folic from New Millennium with recharge to prevent salt build on. Um, and Terp Profile is a berry gas, very functional, good stony high, very functional. I love how people judge that. It's a functional high. The wooden wood, I guess some are way. Like, yeah, there's some high that works. Come on, man, where you're just running into stuff and you're like, where did I put that? And you're like, you know what, man? Uh, I'm just going to sit down for a little bit, man. <laughs> you know, you lose the scissors. You, you know what I mean? God, uh, I lost scissors so many times. That's the worst thing. I'm going to Jerry Paloma and go to the supermarket. You're playing the room game, or like you just said, walk uh, when you have stairs in the house, and you're like, oh, why am I... I forgot on the stairs why I'm mean, down. Why am I down here now? I hate being the dad and then having to go back and tell him I'm stoned that I completely. Like, oh, I was going to get the mother-in-law. So That's hilarious. Oh shit! I got out of my car yesterday before coming here because I had to drive down to Washington. I was in my driveway and I'm like, oh, you forgot this. Went in the house, went all the way down to the kitchen. I'm like, what did you forget that you needed? So I had to go back and sit in the car to replicate that situation again. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. See, <laughs> see in America, I, think that's I know you're Canadian. In America, we would just uh, think of what we left as we were driving to the airport and buy it uh, from Amazon. Yes. <laughs> yeah, just the same day Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it says, love what y'all do. Did you see? Looking forward to the next DGC Cup from No Nose Hippie Collective. Hell yeah. June 3rd, DGCCup.com, guys. Save the day. Go to DGCCup.com, fill out the poll, put your email in to be first to notified when ticks are on sale. We're having heavy meetings about it. Whoa. Heavy. Hang on. What was it, guys? No nose. Uh hang on. It was no nose. No nose hippie collective. And who was that by? Because dude, I, I mean, I know one eye cat. In-house genetics was the one eye cat cannabis, you get it. His cat has one eye. Yeah. What does no nose uh hippie collective mean? I mean, I'm not gonna assume what if we did it's Johnny No Nose. No. He's got no nose. Fair enough. Man, I'm not a judge, all right. I, already, I look for like, the DGC Cup. I like this dude's bud. I already know some people will probably judge because they want to see more size out of it, but it's still, it's good looking bud, man. Really? You think that size matters anymore? And I, I, that sounds funny, but no. <laughs> size always matters, dude. But no, seriously, it's not, uh, we're not going and slinging these for, you know, it, it's not a commercial product anymore. What banner, the reason he sells, or he, 
sprouts. The reason he grows that sour dub is because he doesn't have to sell it. He's just there to show it off. When he shows up here and has this crazy, uh, glowing, flavorful weed, it gives a little cachet, you know? A lot different than having a commercial product that you're like, I know I can get, you know, 23 for that all day. It yeah. looks good. Um, one more nug here. We got in the cup. Number three is Loving in Her Eyes. Crocodile Tears Tester from Zhoof. Zhoof, what's up, man? Says she smells like cannabis apples, Scotty. <laughs> like that. With an oily funk. That kind of doesn't freak me out, but. Cannabis, what does that mean? Is that out like candy apples? I know what they smell like. Cannabis apples? A little bit. Oily funk reminds me of like transmission fluid. You know how it smells yeah. just like, oh man, that's going like. Bed read it smells like that. Yeah. Um, it says you can almost feel the oil in your nose, if that makes sense. I gotcha. It says these colas are stacked. Ice. Uh, had to add a second trellis because they're all falling over. So good, man. Loving in her eyes. Tester. Uh, looks like it's testing out pretty good there, buddy. Wow. And shout out to Loving in Her Eyes. Just uh, a local cannabis hero. Yeah, I think so, man. She really got her shit together. If that. we had like the uh, testing machine sitting in the corner of the bakery over there, would yeah. you allow T- THC concentration to be a, uh, a something that would influence? No. Vote? The dabs will teach you. And look, I got that uh, rig on and I've been experimenting with trying to smoke less joints and smoke a little bit, you know, try to do a dab or two. And it just, that's just pure, not just pure HT, THC, but a lot of THC in there. You're getting a lot of THC, but you're messing with the terpene concentration. It's too much. It. It's just a different, it's quite different, man. I was just, do you, you don't do any concentrates really, do you? Not really. Yeah, it's mainly because of convenience. Like oh, no, they're convenient. Rosin cart for like skiing or. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Otherwise, you just want the full. F- the, can you hit oh, the rosin? More power, baby. That's what he's saying. But what are the rosin cart? 60 sep is at least 70%, no? Oh, THC, percent? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hit it five times without freaking out? Without being like, oh my God, I'm just, I got to sit out. I just gotta, I'm going to go into the bathroom and turn the lights off. I got to sit down. As man. much as he would hail, but I totally agree with Jared. It doesn't have the legs. And it's like, I also agree with the uh, shout out to Adam Curry was just on Rogan. And I say shout out because like, quote, odd father and one of the inspirations for some of the things we've done in our show. Absolutely. Um, and, if you're listening, Adam. Yes. And uh, they were both talking about like F concentrates, man. They're like, I want to see how people like. Last time I did concentrates, and again, I probably inhaled too much. It's just like, no, this would not be for me. Way too, and that was off of a uh, freshly pressed rosin dab. Tasted great. I loved the taste. But the high was just like, holy shit, I, this is not my working man's weed. This is not functional weed for me. It's amazing how fast you'll get used to it. I don't want that, though. I don't want that. I know. Well, you, you, I mean, you could take a smaller hit, too, of what concentrate. You don't have to, you know, take like a three foot bong full of it. Sure. It just doesn't seem you get very used to them very quickly. That's true. Same same way as your. uh, Shit ain't cheap either. No, it ain't, man. I I know what you're saying, but I find that the live rosin is not as different of a high as the distillate. The distillate cartridges are the one crap. That, in my opinion, the eyes sucks. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have to those crappy. It's just to Well, oh, fuck, I'm sorry, Grambo. You <laughs> only smoke carts, man. Get in this conversation. No, I don't only smoke yeah. carts. So the, the set the record straight. The, I've smoked flour every day since I was like 13 years old. And then so I got divorced and I had a kid. And I instantaneously in went that- I went from like order the fun. Well, yeah, yeah, I had a kid, then got divorced, <laughs> and so I went from like you know, like a, a dad who's like in a relationship, and I smoke a little flower, and if I, I smell like weed, and all of a sudden I'm a single dad, and I'm like I don't want like to be like this pothead dad. Like I send my kid to school, her her blankie smells like weed because I, I smoke yeah. the joint. So whenever I'm with her or I'm in the daytime, you know, I just and I edit, so always one hand's on the mouse, so I can just like hit it one handed. And I've got into it, but you know, when things go on, like I got some uh, nice Cortez the Conqueror flower in hey. today. Shout out to Cortez out there. And uh, so, yeah, I love Banner, always cuts me off a little bit. I'm hoping to get some sour dub nugs off him. He, Banner actually was the reason I got started back on nugs so much out here because he, he gave me some good ass nug of, I don't know if it was 
tops or heart and soil someone and it was just so good i was like man i gotta get back on so anytime i get a chance when my daughter's not around i'm still a flower guy but yes you can get really good rosin really really cheap i think it's down to like 28 dollars a gram for some, some of the best rosin on earth really in carts you're saying oh uh, you can get a half gram cart i smoke uh laser cat is my preferred brand you get a half uh half gram for 26 dollars, and it's the best goddamn live <laughs> rosin on earth yeah but seriously man you were I got you, but first of Greg, do you really get high off that thing? You know, well, I like, like to, I'm hot, I like the chain really smoke. Hot. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Uh, I I, been, I smoke all day, every day. So the idea of like you know getting like high, high, I need to take dabs, and then that the coughing fit that the dabs put me into put me off of it. So yeah, I like to just chain smoke uh, hit so off the 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 rosin card. I'm a flavor smoker, so give you when you get the right GMO or OG or any of that sort of stuff, man, God, it just weeds almost become like aromatherapy to me almost. It's like I get so high in my all day, every day, it's kind of just runs together. But yeah, I'm saving it, and I want to say this is the first time I smoked it. No, I smoked a dab that didn't do shit to me. I want to get high as fuck. I will say, uh, Grandma's available as well. <laughs> Ladies, he's kind of got a dad bod going, which I just researched before Wait, I said a it. Dad? Sure. A dad. I, yeah, I have a dad bod. That is- so, wait, dad bod is not a negative thing, though. So I didn't just insult Grandma. Right. You know, I got it. No, but we got a push up contest coming yeah, up with Sonny and Boktepia and Sonny and Bektopia. Urban Dictionary comes into the rescue all the time, man. It says a dad bod is a nice balance between working out and keeping a beer gut. Right. <laughs> and it also says, just as an analogy for you, the dad bod of human bodies were cuts of meat. The dad bod would skew more towards marbled rib. Rib eye, man. Yeah, the rib filet eye. mignon. I like, I like the accidental thing. I, you stumbled across a brilliant dudism here. The dab bod. Yes. I, that, I have the dab bod. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, man. Right. Somebody already must. I must have gotten it. There's no way I made that up. <laughs> That's too easy. Coined. Do you gross your 25 too easy, man. Why is cannabis winning... It is winning. It's not oh, winning everywhere. Not quick enough, but it is quick enough, man. At this point, it's quick enough. Holy shit! Well, the first one you had here was a news article on ban on marijuana users owning guns is unconstitutional. This is ruled by a U.S. judge. That's a big deal, man. A federal that's judge a, rules yeah. that, man. That's a big deal. Which makes complete sense. They have a question directly on the sheet when you're buying a gun that puts you in a position if you own any guns to straight up lie about. They're like, oh, yes. And no. what's it say? It says, like, are you addicted to um, is, is, the, is the wording. I know. I'm positive. Of that. Yeah. And so, no, I'm not addicted. Um, and there are way too many, uh, whatever, I mean, not responsible gun owners, but just people that there's no there's no reason. There's no correlation here. Like, why is this rule here? It doesn't Dude, make any sense. Guru is one of the greatest, not one of the greatest, um, a really good shooter, though, man. And he does it for sport. And... I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. And even, I don't know. I don't know if I'd recommend smoking weed around guns. I'd probably say keep that, those two things separately, uh, or separate. But man, there's nothing wrong with someone who also enjoys cannabis enjoying guns. And by the way, guns are, I was talking, hey, guns are cool. Like as far as machine goes, machines go, you can never tell who's in the guns. I was, we were talking to somebody this morning and they were like, yeah, I have a, was it water cooled? But it was some like insane gun, and I was like, I would never have you pictured for a gun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is kind of crazy. Who like women? A lot of women too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, I just thought this was cool. And if if firearms, if we're winning the firearms and cannabis fight, that's fucking. That's a pretty high hill to climb, a tall hill to climb, man. So that's pretty badass. Yeah, it's it basically a quote here from the, the judge was saying a m- mere status as a user of marijuana justifies. Oh, no, this was somebody that um, Jared Harrison that brought it to. He said uh, using marijuana in itself was not in and of itself a violent, forceful or threatening act. And noted that Oklahoma is one of the number one states where the drug is still legal under federal law, uh, can be le- legally bought for medical purposes. So anyway, like you said, they're getting it. Like, OK, there's so many situations where. uh yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, I like that one. Two thumbs up for sure. A lot of people maybe get a little bit stressed off their st- uh, shoulders for that. Right. Well, now let's talk about what the hell stress I was. will ask you, but I'll just answer myself. What stressed me the most you know, from like now till, you know, 17 till now was having the car smell a little bit like weed, getting pulled over and having just 
everything. I guess I'm not really doing anything shady now. They could search the car if they wanted to, but just getting your car searched, man, that is such a violation of your freedom, in my opinion. And just to be able to, some cop to be able to, they always used to do it. I smell weed. Sorry, get out. We're searching you. You know, it was just like a, I'm just gonna go to back out to like not signaling lane change or something. Not signal, yeah, exactly. And as I didn't a see kid, your lane change, so I'm gonna search your car. Like it, that seems fair. And I'm I'm fifty something. I'm fifty two. I'll admit it now, man. All right, but when you're seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, rolling around, you're targeted for that shit, man. I used to hate getting searched, man. It used to happen. It's, yeah, this is a little. This was in 2021. I saw here, but it, they did use that a lot. And then they they smooth like we in here, boys. Why was it started? Well, it's probably we put bomb with banner. What else? They can't search your car because they said you didn't have a signal. They have to have a reason. Yes, they can. Yeah, they absolutely do. Yep. Uh, maybe they shouldn't. Mm-hmm. They do. They cannot. They can state. Dude, there's that so one many of us that are that start off as some bullshit. Yep. Imagine traffic violation, like unsafe lane change. I thought the only way they could search your car is if they had some sort of evidence, like saying it smelled like weed, or they could say that. Like a guy's car was searched because they saw him leaving a drug house. Like I've seen that used. I don't watch too much. It could be stuff too. You're right. They had so changed the law a few years ago where like everyone's familiar with probable cause, right? It's like, oh, that's probable cause. And they implemented a new one like a decade ago called reasonable suspicion. Yeah, you're so right. And so there can be probable cause, but reasonable su- suspicion, that can be as much as having like a dead sticker or oh, something. Yeah, it was a cop. You're oh, right, shit. man. Hang on. But that's true. Uh, very, I remember a grandma went to one of those uh, crazy bookstores back in the day where you, you needed before the internet you right. had to go to a bookstore and find someone who would sell you a book on buy, on uh, growing wheat <laughs> yeah you know? my buddy still has Jorge Cervantes book in a DEA sealed evidence bag he keeps it as a souvenir ah. when his, 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 his grow got raided shout out DGC Burley Bud Growth and you're right about the reason I bought this book called Street Level Narcotics Enforcement <laughs> I was like, this looks interesting. Reverse engineering. Yeah, man. But it was talking about that and that reasonable suspicion is like below probable cause. And like, you don't need it nearly as much. The reason it's Jesus, it's yeah. scary. But right. in Colorado, I don't know where uh, else in the, the country where legalization is taken over, but in Denver, uh, it's no longer probable cause or reasonable suspicion to smell like weed. Yeah, as marijuana has been legalized for medical and recreational use in a large number of states, the smell of this drug may no longer be seen as an indication that the person has violated the law. Thank oh, God. It's very funny. I read an article about how they they fired all the uh, drug dealer, all the drug sniffing dogs, like all the weed ones. If they didn't smell other drugs, they just got shit canned. It's like, oh, that's sad. Poor dogs. Yeah, I just started thinking about this. I was scrolling because whenever I see something positive, I put it in my Facebook feed or whatever, just to kind of keep it in a folder. Can employers fire me for having a medical marijuana card? And if you're in a legal state, the answer is uh, at least you have a, ch- a chance at it. You know, you have a, have a fight if you're in a, in a state where it's not legal. But if you are a medical user uh, and you get fired, man, you got a good case yeah. on you. So is not a lot of what, like who your employer is, though. Yeah, it's not going to federal government work for the government no. and stuff like that. No, you get away from it bro. does not you come back in 90 days like the Air Force is doing a big off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not super simple. You should come back and see us in a couple months. But uh, it's you certainly, it's a lot different than it used to be. You know, now if you, there's a lot of medical exemptions and a, a lot of companies just aren't going to fire you. From okay, so thing. do you ever drive by the, the drug testing place over here when you're heading south? Uh, I'm sure I have. Like with no. company, I'm oh. like, I've always curious to the worst know feeling they, ever. What is their business like? Are they more popular or less popular now? They just testing for different things. Uh, I don't. Yeah, and you know what's interesting? Even like when you're on probation anymore, you're uh, allowed to smoke weed on no. probation. Yeah, because if you're a medical user, kind of Colorado, or yep. you have your medical license, any so. any medical state. Yeah, yeah, who just. I think that used to be the worst part about being on probation. Well, and if you can do that, can you also drink or not? I don't believe so. Oh, because drinking is not your medicine. This is medicine. That's man. the argument. Yeah. I would imagine so, yeah. Interesting. I got a medical beer card, dude. Recreation. <laughs> Some of Gr- Grandpa's old cough medicine. Seems like a, just all ridiculous, but not. I'll take it any way I can get it, bro. <laughs> any way I can get it. One word. Legal. Yeah. 
And just make sure there's not reasons to be pulled over. It's worth doing, which... Oh, come on, flat. it's so fucking hard. Some we just mentioned man. stickers earlier. Where I live now, it's not as important. I was talking to a cop the other day at a brewery when I, he was talking about... He was, like, with VPD, and I got pulled into the conversation because I thought they were growers <laughs> talking about paper. But he's like, oh, <laughs> Vancouver Police Department, oh, Dan. <laughs> but anyway, he's like, man... I like I mean, mine around 2.1. <laughs> it's like, in this day and age, just, unless somebody's being an asshole or, like, it's obvious, organized... Like, I don't fuck with anything unless it's over a pound, medical or not. Like, just whatever, you know, as far as finding weed. Or it's like, it's really, why am I even going to look for weed? We have so many other things we're dealing with. Yeah. Like, that's not on the radar with us. That's not the same everywhere where everybody's listening right now. But if you are, like, in Prohibition land, like, in whatever, always be checking your signals. Have somebody look at your brake lights. Hit your pedal. Take any stickers off the back that look shady. No. Never. Get and the number ah, one reason don't wear Jerry Garcia on your hat. Never. Ah. Number one reason people get pulled over and get the DUIs for cannabis is not having their lights on. So always double check your lights. That's like that a so habit true. I've gotten into. Just double check your lights. And oh it literally cuts out like 75% of the chance. Hey. F with you in Canada because daytime running lights, right? Yeah. So daytime running lights was some shit that was passed by the feds in Canada way back in the day. I wonder why. So all cars now have to have. have to have, when your ignition in your car is on, the headlights are on, not as bright as at night. So when you turn on your car at night, there's like some dim lights out the front. You could tell in a normal state of mind or whatever, those are my headlights, not bright enough. But so many people drive around at night with their daytime running lights on and then no tail lights. And it's like, this is such a horrible design. Who passed this shit? Um, but anyway, yeah, be careful. You don't usually want to get pulled over. Although plenty of law enforcement's getting a bit cooler out there. If I may. Yes, uh, so well, one of our uh, friends just moved out west from Connecticut. And we were talking about kind of like music scene. And, you know, like you guys were talking about get you seeing a sticker and you get pulled over or whatever. Dead hence the really count. So that shit still goes on back east, he was saying. Sure. There's cops trolling around the parking lots and shit, like just looking to bust people. And like he he was out here, like in Denver, we were right. at a show, right? And he was just blown away by how like cool it is. <laughs> and, I mean, and that's what that's what all those years of legalization has done is like nobody nobody cares. We we've noticed that like society hasn't fallen apart since it's legal. I'm just thinking about how natural it is to profile. You know, when when we go to shows. Some- Hey, I'm going to profile that guy as a potential, you know, recharge reseller or something, you know? Profiling the same as stereotyping? Is he talking in the same no, language here? I don't think so. I think profiling meets a, a set of parameters, preset parameters. Hey, so that guy f- owns a grow store. That guy understands soil microbes. That guy, you know, whatever, seems to have his business together. So, therefore, he's a good fit for me. That's- it's, it's not like that guy's got long hair, man. He probably, he probably organic, you know? <laughs> Cuts both ways, though, too, because do you remember the days when you wanted to find weed? That's the uh, best way to find weed was to, like, for the guy with profile, see on his hat. And be like, yeah, oh, that guy looks like he might have some weed. <laughs> yeah, right. it's true. The struggle it was both, real. Cuts both ways. I remember road tripping back in the day up the coast of Cali, and we'd always, like, not want to run out of weed. But when we got to Arcata, like, the mecca, like, it was, like, the mecca. You can just smell it. It's like, like, oh, there's going to be no trouble getting weed <laughs> anywhere here. <laughs> it smells so outside. <laughs> you pass the city limits, it just reeks. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was cool, man. <laughs> hey, in about an hour here, man, do you want to shout out some producers and uh, look at some memes? Come and on. laugh, dude. Do you like to laugh? I'd like to laugh. If you guys are laughing and had a good time, dudegrows.com board slash support keeps this shit rolling. I don't even think I said, man, I, I'm going to have to have a cold snack here soon because uh, Brother. I got to get on the phone after the show with PayPal. Yes, cannabis, cannabis discrimination, Brought man. Me one, man. Come on, shout out to Fort right. Collins, man. Right. This is a Fort Collins Odell's beer. Once I, I said beer, so once I say beer, you have to Hazy AOL. We got to keep it real, though. I got to get my push-up <sighs> training done after this for the push-up contest at the DDC Cup. So lucky I don't like beer. Like, I always, the first time I taste it, I go, oh, this tastes like shit. This is what beer tastes like when you're like 10, you know? It always tasted the same to me ever since. You know, you're a beer guy better? Nah. I, uh, thank uh, God. I way. drink beer when you can smoke weed. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, I love for right. Coca Cola. You know what I mean? I mean? That's that's, but that tastes good to me. It's sweet. You know, I don't get the whole crispy. What is it? Definitely not into. The, it doesn't taste like a mountain stream either, bro. Definitely not into the low alcohol, high volume of beer. And it, yeah, everybody does that now. Man, that couldn't turn me off more. Oh, oh. that's thing I want to do is uh, like thirty-two ounces of, of a can at a time. 
But yeah, I'm not, I'm not good at drinking beer. Then I'm like, fuck it. You want, it takes more than one beer an hour to get a buzz, right? Like, I drink a couple beers in an hour. Like, you metabolize oh, one beer an hour. Yeah. Sure. So if I can only, they taste like so shitty, I can only drink one an hour. And they're like, what the fuck am I even uh, doing, man? Corona? Is that the gig? Is that oh, Jesus, Corona? man. Yeah, Corona. Because they're water. They're South Florida days. They're so almost water. carbs, you know. That's why I don't get the, the Corona. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. They're really high in carbs compared to most other beers. Yeah. Yeah, at least that's water. It's that's why dude doesn't doesn't drink them probably. All right, back to grow talk. Yes, sir. I was shouting out some producers, man. A wall, Gina, what's up? And I get high on my own supply. Love that's it. Pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Turp tacos. Yeah, man. Thank you for the support. I wonder what turp tacos are. Right. You know, if used foods, <laughs> that scares yeah. me. Sounds good. Turp tacos sound good. As long as they're low better. dose, delicious by themselves. Yeah. I wouldn't mind some topping of turp. 100 milligrams of edibles. I mean, you should have tacos for the cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talked about our uh, Raider Dank Vader being there and making some pizzas. We got that going. He just got a bunch of a couple pizza ovens going. Do we have, man, someone might just might ask me for the date of the cup. June 3rd. I know it all. June 3rd. June 3rd. Or you got to tell them the date. You say go to dgccup.com. All right. Thank so you, sir. the mailing list. Thank you. Get the updates first. All right. Can I give a shameless plug as a meme? No. Uh, yes. What do we got? <laughs> Crawl around to Sherlock, man. There's Sherlock. And it just says, get some recharge. They said it'll be fun. And I just think that's one of the biggest cannabis stocks I've ever... That is cannabis, right? Looks like it to me, for sure. It looks like just a huge outdoor plant that it... Holy crap, that thing's huge, right? Cannabis gets freaking huge, man, when you let it go. It's not all strains, but man, you've seen the big pictures where trees are like freaking 12, 13... Some, of the, some of the Mendo man. dope pictures they post, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. This last one is what it looks like at the nursery after a freeze in Florida. What do we got here? <laughs> <laughs> It's a shitty looking, uh, some kind of grass. And he just says, I'm not dead. This is just how I look. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, right on. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the live show. Thanks for hanging. Stay higher. Subscribe, like, comment, spread the word. Appreciate it, DGC. And uh, yeah, peace out. Stay higher. Absolutely. Great hanging. Dude, great hanging with you, brother. Banner, always nice. Yeah, man. And Grambo, really en enjoying it, sir. Doing a great job, brother. Love you guys. Oh, let's not go crazy. I mean, that might not on the air. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm divorced. Some would love me back. Uh, all right, y'all be good. Some people love to blaze up the deck. Yeah, we get happy for noon. And with the boss man's to take a little break. That means we